It's official, Lunar New Year is now a New York State public school holiday. Let's talk about why or why this isn't a big deal. Well, you know, for me, I was hoping for some infrastructure or maybe some economic or safety improvements, but I guess a day off for my kid is uh, a compromise that I will have to accept. Well, that's what the $30 million uh, state fund was to help, you know, crisis intervention and possibly help stop uh, anti-Asian hate. Governor Kathy Hochul tweeted, proud to sign legislation declaring Lunar New Year an official school holiday in New York. This is an important step to recognizing the importance of New York's AAPI community and the rich diversity that makes our state so great. Of course, Andrew, uh, Representative Grace Meng also said that, you know, people laughed at me when I said I was going to make Lunar New Year a state holiday in 09, and now we finally got it done. But of course, Andrew, people on the internet, even within the Asian community, were split on it, right? Because some people said, man, you guys are just pandering to the mandarins to get our vote and other people are like oh this is great i feel seen and you saw opinions all across the board all right guys we're gonna give you our thoughts and then we'll go into the top comments so please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hot pop boys you know what else is another great way to celebrate lunar new year andrew what with smala smalasauce.com get the pre-orders right now from sichuan to sicily i'm telling you you can use this in any instance that you would typically use an olive oil or soy sauce or lao gamma yeah, it's delicious, made with real truffle and Sichuan peppercorn. It's got a nice little buzz and kick at the end. It's delicious. Anyway, smallasauce.com. Um, I want to talk about, David, I just have, I overall am positive on this. I don't think it changes the world for Asians. I think it's a step to show the power or the influence of Asian politicians politicians in New York, which you do want them to have some impact. Now, is this the most important thing ever? It's actually not. I don't, me personally, I don't, I didn't need like a day off for my future kids if they're uh, in New York. I you think know? it would be better off if they like actually had to study some sort of Asian culture, pan-Asian culture. It doesn't even have to be Chinese. And like they just dedicated half that day to learning about Asians in America. Yeah, right? yeah. I do think it could also work if they just celebrated Lunar New Year or Asian culture in schools and like you know, well, because the, the other kids who are not from those Lunar New Year type families, they're not going to celebrate it on their day off, right? Yeah, yeah. The only thing that I'm really worried about is when you when kids have a day off, what are they going to do? Are they even going to appreciate it? Are they even going to celebrate Lunar New Year? And what activities do we have planned for kids on their day off? Because as you know, most kids who don't know any Chinese people who are not super close with a Chinese family, they're not going to do anything. Yeah. Well, they already got 34 days off in a year. It's just like tacking another one on there, right? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like the most Chinese thing would be like, I want the kids to stay in school and learn more about the culture. It, uh, it's all about developing those scholastic aptitude. No, but if you really want to reward the Asian family and the Asian culture, you should add on days just, of just, school. Just more homework. So then my child's lead will increase over everybody else because I know probability-wise my child will hey, do the homework. Hey, government Hutchell, how about this? You keep the day of school, okay? We just talk about Lunar New Year and then you just bump Every Asian kid GPA just point one for the day. <laughs> That's what we. Oh, they would definitely take that trade. Um, I used to care a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff like this maybe 10, 15 years ago, but I sort of realized nowadays that it's really more about just like IRL, right? It's more about how the Chinese community or Asian American community, whoever celebrates Lunar New Year, like interfaces with everybody else, right? Mm. It's not really about what these politicians say. Stop looking to politicians. I don't care if it's on the left, right, up, down to validate your identity in America. That uh -huh. don't mean nothing to just how you walk out and meet 100,000 random people that are not politicians because politicians make it their job to appeal to their voter base. And one time I met Chuck Schumer, Chuck Schumer's a really high ranked Democrat. I talked with him for like three, four minutes about Peking duck. I'm telling you, this New York Jewish guy, he had a ton of opinions on Peking duck way more than I would have anticipated. Do I always remember that? Did it stick with me? Sure. Did that make me just want to blindly support him for the rest of my life? No, it didn't. Why would it? I mean, I just feel like it's more about internal dynamics within our community. So I just don't want people to like be looking at these politicians for validation. Mm, okay, okay, okay. But it is a state holiday, David. That that's that is still. We, I mean, we have to say that this was not easy 
to get an entire day off of school right, for. Right, you have to push this through. Let's just throw it out there. What, 15 levels of bureaucracy? Yeah, so I mean, I, I want to give some people some credit for sure. Uh, let's get to the comment section. Somebody said it's performative. What about addressing the anti-Asian violence? Oh, they're just pandering. Mm. It's not necessary since we got a holiday, I guess, to address all the murders and robberies of Asian people, huh? Somebody else said, I don't know. Still progress to me. Um, What do you think? Are, are, are you on the progress side, Andrew? Yeah, I think it's progress. I think, I, think, I think there's some progress. Somebody said, great, stop the mega jail from being built in Chinatown now. Somebody said, oh, let's make it a holiday for all 49 states. And someone said, yeah, buddy, I live in Louisiana. That ain't happening no time soon here because mm. people do not give a damn about that over here. Um, some people saying, man, I remember in school and my parents asking if we got the day off. Other people said, oh, we used to get it off, but they just called it midwinter break because they didn't want to call it something foreign. And other people said, oh, I would just call out anyway. Um, of course, some American people people were like what a stupid and worthless holiday i don't care and someone said does china celebrate the july 4th holiday huh why are we celebrating their holiday over here in the west huh um andrew i mean this- I, I, I wouldn't compare it to, uh, by the way it's not really july 4th it's more like a thanksgiving type vibe Right, right, right. I mean, how much does this show that the Democrats obviously are way more culturally sensitive to different smaller subgroups and tribes, obviously, than the Republicans, right? Does this show some sort of macro shift? Because some people say that Republicans just want everybody to adapt Anglo-Saxon Protestant capitalistic norms, right? And on the left, it's more like every group gets everything, right? To to each to its its own. Yeah, acknowledging every group. So, yeah, I mean, I I think that uh, this is kind of more of the Democrat play. I don't think it's wrong. I do think that it shows that they're thinking about us. I mean, to give like a whole school day off, I mean, you'd have to say that's significant. Right. Uh, Here's some more boomer comments, obviously obviously from Yahoo News. Someone said, I support this overall. I ain't going to make nothing of it. These Asian peeps deserve it. They don't steal and loot. And someone said, yeah, they only steal trade and national secrets. That's just stealing on a different level. I don't know why you like him so much. And then somebody said, oh my gosh, it's going to become like Malaysia. You know, we have holidays all year round because mm-hmm. we have so many different groups of people to cater to. And someone was like, just another nail in the coffin for already behind the global standards, public school students. Ooh, what do you think of that? This I, is- I always said this, man, the most Chinese thing would be to demand more school. I I bet you Chinese parents are like, you already giving my kids 34 days off of school. Maybe you cut it down to 13. That will make me more happy. How about the best way to celebrate Lunar New Year is just give everybody the test beforehand and give them extra time to study for the test. Yeah. Somebody said, man, at the end of the day, this is not going to be any sort of federal or national thing because it is designed state to state, district to district. Already, there was other districts that had done this before if they had a very high Chinese or, for example, Asian population. Uh, I guess, David, um, I think it's debated. And you guys in the comments down below, let me know if you think this is a big deal. What else would you want instead? Mm. Let's say you could trade... Lunar New Year as a holiday. Listen, I'm Chinese. I celebrate Chinese New Year, a.k.a. Lunar New Year. Obviously, they chose the better term to call it Lunar New Year, not Chinese New Year in America, which makes sense to me. But I guess for me, I I wasn't looking for a day off, right? But it's just better to get acknowledgement yeah, in, I, with without shutting the infrastructure down, keep the infrastructure going. To have the school system acknowledge it during the day and have the kids talking about it at school, I think is even a bigger deal. Yeah. So I would have loved to have that built in more into the curriculum. Now, Asian American studies, it's true. Some people have pushed through that it's going to be a larger part of New York City school curriculum too because New York obviously does have a huge Asian population, huge Chinese population. So I think these things are moving in the direction to build long-term empathy or the Asian community. Right, you're One, saying it starts with small gestures. Even yeah, it though starts this is, with was small gestures right? and it starts with the young. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like a lot of these kids who grow up celebrating Chinese New Year or at least having a day off. I don't know if they're actually going to celebrate it. But if they have a day off, then maybe in the future they're going to be more uh, compassionate. Some of them are going to get dollar dumplings in Chinatown. Yeah. Some maybe, portion of them, and right? maybe, I'm not saying, I, we have no statistics for this, but maybe it, it helps 
stops people from being mean to Asian elderly. Um, I just think that the left or like, let's just quote, I'm not saying that it's all liberals or whatever, but like the left, they always have the right idea, but the execution is always real wonky in my opinion. Of course, it is great to acknowledge people's individual identities or the things that make them different or different from what had pre-existed in America prior to 1970 or whatever you call it, 1870, depending on which immigration wave you're looking at. But it just feels like they could have implemented a program during school and that would have been way more impactful. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know how corporations for Lunar New Year, Andrew, like in the corporate cafeteria at Google, they just start serving more Asian food. Right. Yeah, like I think that that would work a lot better, right? And it's almost like, I just don't know what do they do. The, oh, do all Asians got to vote for Hochul now? You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Like, because what? She acknowledges identities, but what if they prioritize other things, right? Because mm -hmm. everybody prioritizes different things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think for me, uh, I think on this day that I think the kids should like learn about martial arts or something. Yeah. I think that would be cool. Or even the contributions to martial arts. You know what I mean? So people who like MMA yeah. can see the Asian roots of it or something. Yeah. Um, I think that when I see stuff like this, I just go, cool, everything's going according to plan because the left is running the identitarian plan. The right is like, if you adapt to us, Anglo-Saxon Protestant norms plan, and just, this is it. Like, this is what should happen, right? If you're a politician on either side, you're essentially have bought into that macro plan with some slight deviation that you can pick yourself. Yeah. But it's like, I, that's what the, the Asian politicians on the left are supposed to do is I, fight for days like this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I just hope be, they didn't be, burn up all their juice. You yeah, know, burn up story. all their political capital, right? Because if something on the left doesn't align with Asian interests, they're powerless to stop it. That's the truth because they already bought into the squad. I'm just saying the next state holiday should be a voting holiday. I'm all uh, for it. I'll tell you this. If you're uh, an Asian family, whether you're thinking about having a family in the future... You are the sun. The sun got to take care of the planet in order. Like you, your, 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 your immediate family you were born into, nuclear family, the family you start, which is uh, your, becomes your new nuclear family aside from the one you were born into. Then it goes to your hyper-local community, then your community. Then it goes to this like statewide national macro level. But you know what the thing is? I believe that both parties, they want you to think about from Pluto all the way back towards the sun. They want you to spend all your time thinking about supporting Pluto, but the sun got to think about the sun first and then work its way out on the rings of the solar system. That's how I feel about it. Work your ways out. On work, the you are the sun. Work your way out to Pluto. These parties are existing on Pluto. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Was it pandering? Was it valid? Was it somewhere in the middle? What Keep else would you want to see instead? Until Let next time, we the Hop Hop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.